What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here unboxing one of the biggest, baddest phones on the planet. This is the Samsung Galaxy Note. This phone tablet hybrid, so I guess that would make it a phablet or a tone, is rocking a 5.3 inch screen, a beastly 1.4 gigahertz dual core processor, and a ton of other goodness. Let's go ahead and see how this phone works, whether or not it can work as a phone, whether or not it can go in your pocket, and all the other questions I'm sure you have and that I have about the Samsung Galaxy Note. Let's go ahead and get it unboxed. Alright, so to do this, we will use the scissors of doom. Let's take a quick look at the box. This is the white model. It's also available in black. Got a picture of the device on the front. There is the S Pen, which we'll talk about, the back of the device. Samsung Galaxy Note. Uh, this model is currently not, or any model of the Galaxy Note, uh, is not currently available in the US. It's available uh, abroad. Um, it does have support though for AT&T's HSPA Plus network, so if you want to import it, you've got the option to do so. Uh, this unit came to us from the folks at Negri. Uh, if you follow the rumor mill though, you might also know that AT&T has been rumored to pick one of these guys up, uh, hopefully packing LTE with a presumed CES 2000 announcements just a uh, week or so away we'll go ahead and cut the plastic uh, I saw this guy first when it was unveiled in Berlin at IFA and I was extremely impressed I only had a limited amount of time with it they only had a few uh, display models to uh, to show the press uh, but I did try the pocket test and if I remember correctly it did pass let's go ahead and see this thing sealed up as it should be security seal all right let's go ahead and break the seal it's actually called ceramic white in case you guys are wondering so we'll use a white phone on a white box on a white background. And there it is, the Samsung Galaxy Note. Uh, it's got that similar form factor to the unlocked or um, European or uh, other uh, Galaxy S2 models sold outside the US with that one big button and two capacitor buttons uh, that'll show up on the side. So I'll go ahead and pull it out of the box. This is a big phone. There's no, <laughs> no uh, ifs, ands, or buts about it. This is uh, not the smallest of devices. Push that off to the side for a moment. Let's see what else we're going to have in the box. Galaxy Note quick start guide for getting started um, quickly. Uh, we've got the Monster battery, which is Monster in milliamp hours, not so much in size. It's not actually that big, uh, but it is a 2500 milliamp hour battery. So hopefully we'll get plenty of juice out of this. Uh, from what I've been reading that it will have plenty of uh, power to get through a full day, but it's gonna need that power to uh, make this screen light up. Let's see what else we're gonna have in the box. Charging and syncing cable, micro USB variety. Um, that's kinda nice. Got some earbuds in different sizes, small, medium, large, depending on how large your ears are. And those go with these in-ear headphones, uh, which you can see are hopefully right there. Uh, buttons for volume up and down and send and end. Go ahead and leave them in there. I've got a, so many pairs of headphones laying around. I need to open them up. Here is where the charger would go, but I presume we do not have a US charger, so you're gonna have to use another uh, USB charger uh, for this guy. But that's how it would work, slides in, you're good to go. This thing pops out, this goes in, and you can charge uh, like you would any other phone. Great, let's put all that stuff back, but that's not what everybody's here for, that's not what I'm here for. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the Galaxy Note. Go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. Uh, I will run through the specs on this guy. Uh, first, again, not available in the U.S. It is running Android 2.3, but Samsung has said it will be getting its gingerbread own. From a dimension standpoint, it seems crazy to say this on a phone, uh, 5.78 inches by 3.27 inches by 0.38, so it's still an extremely thin uh, device, and it weighs 6.28 ounces with the battery inside of it. Uh, from a display standpoint, it is a 5.3 inch monster display. Uh, WXGA, so that's 800, that's 800 this way by <laughs> 1280 that way. So definitely an HD display, uh, and it's a super uh, AMOLED screen, as you can tell by the HD AMOLED uh, label right there. The 2500 milliamp hour battery we talked about, it's supposedly gonna give you 13 hours of talk time and 570 hours of standby time. 1.4 gigahertz dual core Cortex A9, the uh, Exynos uh, chipset. So this makes it, at least in theory, uh, the fastest phone on the, or at least one of the fastest phones on the market. Uh, higher clock speed than the heavily regarded, or highly regarded Galaxy S2 Giga RAM. 
and get it in 16 or 32 gig configurations. This one is 16, but it does have micro SD expandability. On the back, it's got a camera. Uh, the cameras that we've known to love from Samsung. Uh, this is the 8 megapixel uh, model of LED flash. You can shoot 1080p video. On the front, you've got a 2 megapixel camera. Um, networks, so none yet, but it does have support for AT&T's HSPA+. I believe that's a 14.4 variety, Bluetooth 3.0. It also has something kind of neat on the bottom. It's got something called an S Pen. And this is not just a capacitor stylus. It's not a resistive touchscreen, harkening back to the old Windows mobile days. Uh, this actually can turn this greeting into almost a bit of a Wacom tablet, uh, where it can sense different pressure sensitivities. There are buttons on the pen here that you can use for screen capture and selecting. And I'll walk you through that in a uh, full demonstration. But that goes and lives right in there. It seems very odd to have a stylus again. All right, so let's go ahead and pop the battery in and do a boot up to this guy. Um, kind of curious. I'm going to pull this off. All right, so we've got that pulled. So we can get this back off somehow. There's the little groove. And for Samsung to get their phones to weigh so little, uh, generally the, the materials they use are plastic, and this back piece uh, feels extremely uh, thin. Um, so that's where the micro SD card would go. There's not one installed. That's obviously where the giant battery goes. Let's go ahead and pop that in. I'll put a SIM card in uh, a bit later. Speaker obviously there, and there's the camera sensors. Go ahead and try and snap this monster back on. Snap in. We're almost getting there. All right, so we are snapped in. Let's go ahead and power it on. Power button lives here on the right-hand side. Usually, I like power buttons on the top of the phones, but with a phone this big, that was not going to be possible. Um, and it is booting up. Let's go ahead and peel off the screen. The only time there won't be fingerprints on this guy. Galaxy Note, the model is the GTN 7000. Uh, so while this is booting up, let's do a real quick size comparison. Um, my uh, curtain phone that I'm using is what I thought was one of the biggest phones out there. Uh, this is the HTC Titan with a 4.7 inch screen. You can see the difference, it looks downright small. And speaking of downright small, if we bring in an iPhone 4 or 4S with the same size, 3.5 inch screen, it almost looks like a toy <laughs> next to it. Um, you can just see how small it really is next to the Galaxy Note. So this is a very, very large phone. So I'll go ahead and let it finish booting up and I'll walk you through the rest of the stuff that the phone has. So it's got your sensors on top, there is your speaker microphone right there. And that microphone is only going to be used when it's in speakerphone, uh, but it is a noise-canceling mic. 3.5 millimeter headset jack on the top. You can see those two capacitive buttons lit up, or hopefully you can see them lit up. On the bottom, that's where you're going to charge and sync via micro USB. Volume rocker up and down on the left, nothing else there. No camera shutter button on the right-hand side, just the power and lock. All right, so here is the Android guy. Let's go ahead and do a real quick setup. It looks like it's in English, but let's make sure it's in United States English. It was not, so we'll go ahead and select that. There we go. And now we can touch the Android to begin. Uh, this is running TouchWiz, the newest version of TouchWiz. I'm um, excited to get some ice cream sandwich going on this guy. Uh, we'll connect to Wi-Fi later. We don't have a SIM in there. It's fine. Google can track me. They already know everything about me anyway. We'll do all this stuff later. Automatic. Go to next. And boom, here we are. A lot of stuff, a lot of pixels to see, and you get a lot of things on this screen. Uh, so some custom tweaks uh, that we've got on here. We jump into applications. You've got a five by five grid now because the screen is just an absolute behemoth. Um, so you can see a lot more stuff there. Uh, this is a physical button here. It's not a trackpad though, despite that it might look like a little bit of a trackpad. Uh, it is not. Uh, you've got some S applications here. There's S Memo and S Note, which takes advantage of the, well, that S Pen. Let's go ahead and pull that S Pen out here and do a real quick demonstration. Uh, I'll open up S Memo. There we go. And it's telling you how to do it. Double tap the screen while pressing the pen button. S Memo will be displayed. OK. Use two fingers and panning. Yeah, OK, that's fine. Thanks for the notes there, Samsung. Um, let's go ahead and open up one of their pictures. How about this dog? All right, so my pet, Let's see if I can draw on this. Let's try to draw on it. We have to go into edit version, so let's edit. All right, so now I can draw, I can take notes. Hi, you can edit stuff and you can pick different pen sizes, uh, different texts. 
So you can choose which one you want. I'll do a full demonstration of all this stuff. Just want to walk you through it real, real quickly. Uh, you can choose pencil, pen, paintbrush, different colors, uh, whatever you want it to say and you write. Uh, you can also get an eraser uh, and you can erase all of your uh, scribbles. Go. And now you can erase the stuff. So real short demonstration of that. Let's go see what other stuff we have. Uh, since this is carrier unlocked, we're not going to have much carrier bloatware. Uh, but you do have a lot of Samsung uh, additions. So you can take that to either be a positive or a negative, depending on how you feel about Samsung stuff. Uh, so Polaris Office is included. That's nice. FM radio, voice talk, crayon physics, Samsung apps, which are really apps meant for the uh, S Pen, all the social stuff that we've seen, S Planner. So it should be a, just a giant calendar, which it is, with some additions on the side um, to use that big screen. Uh, we've got a lot of screens. So we've got, uh, looks like it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screens. Let's go ahead and see what they show here by default. So there's some notes. The Messe Berlin Center, where this was announced at IFA, it circled. There's that big old calendar widget, breaking news, email, all kinds of other stuff that you can go ahead and add. Speaking of add, let's see what kind of widgets they give us. Widgets, AccuWeather, AP Mobile, bookmarks, those little 3D shuffles as you move it along, agenda, tasks, mini agenda. Classic clock, lots of clocks here, more clocks, and Google search. And now we're on to the standard, at least some of the standard uh, Android stuff that you see on here. So this has been a very first look at the Samsung Galaxy Note. We'll have a ton more coverage coming up on technobuffalo.com, so be sure to check us out for coverage on this and all of your tech news. I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. All right, so the last thing I wanted to show you guys is the pocket test to see if this phone can fit in just a normal dude pocket. They're not overly tight jeans, just regular uh, jeans. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Go ahead and drop it in. And it does fit. It definitely makes a little bit of an outline. Uh, but walking around, I don't think I'm going to notice it uh, all that much. So I've got a hoodie pocket here. You can go ahead and fit it in there kind of nicely. Uh, it might stick out just a little bit. But, you know, it fits okay in the pocket. So there's the Samsung Galaxy Note. Uh, let me bring in the HTC Titan so you can see what that looks like. Right in the pocket doesn't make that much of a difference, really. It doesn't feel that different. Um, so Samsung Galaxy Note is pocketable uh, if you're not wearing super tight uh, jeans or pants or shorts, whatever it might be. All right, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.